tonight on the news at nine residents invited council members to walk the path of two planned water lines. The city of Phoenix says it's a project that needs to be done in case of a drought in the future. Yeah, so our David Caltabiano is now joining us live from the dreamy draw area where there are plans for that construction. So David, obviously a lot of people are very passionate, very invested in this. What's the biggest concern for people who live there? Spencer, the biggest concern is the path for the pipelines. Currently, it goes through neighborhoods, a park, and this preserve. At the Phoenix Mountains Preserve. The access under all weather conditions to be able to step out there and take a nice hike and uh, get up there and get a view of the beautiful city. People like Stephen Smith has enjoyed the backyard getaway for decades, which is why these signs are up. I think that really the preserve needs to be just that, zero construction. Zero. The city of Phoenix is planning to construct two water lines from the water treatment plant on 24th Street all the way to 21st and 22nd Street, going through neighborhoods, Granada Park, and the preserve. It really would just disrupt exactly how it is. This is how big the pipe is, 66 inches in diameter, and it's going to run right through the preserve. There are signs in there that say, please stay on the trails. They don't even want foot traffic to go off trails. Yet they want to dig a 20 by 40 pit, drop a drill in it, and drill underneath through it. We're asking them to press pause. The Dreamy Draw neighborhood is now banding together in a sea of orange. They organize a walk along the path of construction. We're asking them to do some reconsideration. Organizers told us they invited Phoenix City Council members, but it appears none of them showed up. But State Representative Aaron Lieberman did. I just think it's so important to stand here with the residents of the area to say we don't want a pipeline running through our preserve. The City of Phoenix told us they will try to keep their impact minimal. They say the city needs this water project in case there's a drought in the future. We're not against the improvements and preparing for the future, but we are against being violated. Residents like Smith hope they can stop the three-year project before it begins. So this preserve can be preserved. Now phase one of construction actually starts next month. and. The construction that is going to affect the preserve is going to start February of 2021. Residents here say they're going to do anything they can to make sure that doesn't happen. Live in Phoenix, David Coltbiano for Arizona's Family. All right, David, thank you.